I mean, look at that. Isn't that just, I mean, that is stunning. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and fooies for you today and oh my goodness, I love my eye favorite that I have to share with you. Um, good cheek favorite. I have kind of like a semi sort of fooey, like just, you know, something fun to kind of chat about, but it's like, it's sort of a foodie. Anyway, we've got some fun things to talk about today. So if you're new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do favorites videos, new at the drugstore reviews, empties, get ready with me's. Just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about Friday favorites. So let's get to them. I would say one of my standout favorites for the week of all the favorites would have to be this eyeshadow palette. I love this. I'm so impressed with it. It's the Iconic London Treat Yourself eyeshadow palette. I got this in my, I believe it came in my BoxyCharm. I don't remember if it was BoxyCharm or Icon Box, but watch my video and you can see that. But so it was sent to me as PR. So thank you so much to Ipsy for sending it my way. I am so impressed with Iconic London's eyeshadows. They are just beautiful. I mean, the mattes are gorgeous, but the metallic shades are incredible. I've mainly been reaching for this shade right here, which is so funny because when I look at it, it looks so light. I kind of sometimes forget how fair I am. I'm not porcelain, but I'm pretty fair. So sometimes when I put eyeshadows on my eyes, I'm like, oh, that's looking a lot more intense than I was intending. And it's usually because I'm using a richer, deeper shade, kind of forgetting that I'm quite fair complected. So this one right here is a really good transition shade for me because it's like a light, soft pink, and I just really, really like it. So I've been using that and then I'll use a little bit of this in my outer corner. I've used different things, but mainly, mostly these shadows. And then this one, I'm just, I mean, look at that. Do I even need to say anything? Isn't that beautiful? That is gorgeous. I have a little mix of that and this on the inner corners, like inner part of my lid. Oh my goodness. Isn't that just, I mean, that is stunning. That's stunning. I have a little combo of these two with some setting spray on the inner part of my eyelid, like inner third or so. And then I have this on the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm obsessed. It's, it's just, it's amazing. I mean, the mattes are, whoa, I was about to drop it. Whoa, <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Um, the mattes are blendable and very nice, but the metallics are my favorites. And I don't feel like this is swatching nearly as amazingly as it looks on the eyes. Like we need to, I need to build this up. So let me give you like a, a fair shot at looking at how amazing this, I'm adding more shadows. We're just, we're, we're going off here on just a tangent. Um, that's not surprising. <laughs> let me get some of these swatched for you. So yeah, I mean, the mattes are nice and blendable. They're kind of like a silky formula, but um, they build on themselves really nicely. They're just good. And then the metallic shades are so gorgeous. I mean, look at that one. I have worn that one on the like middle part of my lid, um, but mainly reaching for these two. I just love a light sparkly shadow. I just love it. I reach for them all the time. But yeah, this one right here, great transition shade for me. Like it just, it works really well. And then just a little bit of that. Like a lot of times I'll reach for a color like that and then I really have to diffuse it. Whereas this one, I could just really kind of go all over my lid and up into my crease and it just worked really well. But yeah, gorgeous color story, love the formula. Kind of cleaned up my under eye over here a little bit. I don't know what was going on there. It's so funny how like in different lighting, suddenly you notice something. Are y'all like that? Like there was, I don't even know why this made me think of this, but there was one day on vacation in July where I'd done my makeup and we'd like gone around different places and then I just happened to pull down the mirror and check in the mirror in the car. And I was like, oh my goodness, my eyeshadow was like out here or something. I was like, Timothy, you have to tell me these things. <laughs> cause I had no idea. Cause sometimes, you know, like you can't get good lighting like where you're staying. Anyway, that's a random tangent. So I noticed that I needed to do a little cleanup on my under eyes. This is a favorite 
for eyes and then also highlighter on the cheeks. So I'm not wearing it on my eyes today, but I did wear it on my eyes. Then I also wore it on my cheeks. I think this is beautiful. Fun packaging. This is Il Maquillage. Il Maquillage? Il Maquillage is the brand. I'll list it and link it down below for you. Also got this through Ipsy or BoxyCharm. Can't remember which box it was in. BoxyCharm or um, Icon Box. But thank you to Ipsy for sending it to me. This is the Mineral Baked Highlighter in Gimme More. And I was looking and they have different shades in this. And there's a pinky one. I love a pinky highlighter, especially because I love it on the cheeks, but I love it on the eyes too. So I'm eyeing that one. This is a gorgeous, I would say like peachy, um, yeah, like peachy champagne, golden-ish, but more peachy. This is borderline too deep for me to use as a cheek highlighter, but it still works. I just kind of try to be more light-handed with it, but I wore it on my eyes too, and it's just beautiful. I love a baked highlighter, and this is a really nice formula, gorgeous color, so it catches the light and I feel like it's nice because it's um, it is kind of metallic but I think because it's that baked formula it just really diffuses so nicely so if you're more light-handed with it it has kind of a different look so it's versatile and really really pretty I love it and I like the fun packaging but it's, you know, it screws on and off. Like that's just something a little different. It's fun. Okay, for cheeks. Let's go ahead and talk about my kind of semi fooey. Um, and I say it's a semi fooey because I love the formula of these, but I've really realized that this particular shade just really doesn't work very well for me personally. This is one of the Maybelline Sun Kisser blushes. And this is in the shade Uptown Glow. And I think it's the fact that it is, let's look at a swatch. Yeah, I love, like I love a corally blush color and sometimes I wear an orangey kind of blush color, but this is an orange that almost to me seems to pull more kind of yellow, especially as you blend it out and that doesn't work well for me. I really realized. And maybe if I mixed it with something else, um, but there was one day that I went to wear this and I was like, ooh, this is just, this is not a good color for me personally. So yeah, um, but I love the formula of it. So it's just like a little mention of, and I think that's so many makeup things. Like it's just, you know, personal preference. Um, the, the like, are you more cool toned or warm toned? Um, just the depth of colors, things like that. Uh, do you have more dry skin or more oily skin? All of those things can affect how you feel about a makeup product, you know what I mean? I don't, this is not a bad makeup product in my opinion at all. I love these. It's just this particular color doesn't work that great for me. So that's just a little, it's been a long time since I've mentioned a fooey, like I can't even remember the last time. And sometimes people are like, why do you even say fooey? Cause you never have a fooey. Cause I, I just kind of forget about them. So there's a little semi fooey for you, but the other colors that I have in this, I love so much like the pinky one. I love it. And the cheek combo that I was loving, these are more on the pinky tone side. So I just feel like a pinky tone blush definitely works better for me personally, as a general rule. Like I still love, I still, I wear purpley colored blushes. I wear berries, I wear reds, I wear orangey. Like I still wear them for sure. But I feel like pinks are really probably the most flattering on me personally. This is one of the, I think they're newer-ish, hard candy face off blushes, but this is more of the like matte-ish sort of color. <laughs> this is the blurring blush in Double Take. Double Take. And I just think these are fun. Like I like the packaging and this color, beautiful. So, so pretty. It looks like it blends out like a lot. I mean, I guess I have to build it up a little bit, but it's it's still beautiful. I mean, there, you can see. It doesn't take that much to build it up. So pretty. I would say it's more of a, once it kind of dries down, more of like a satin finish, but really pretty looking on the cheeks. I like this a lot. So it's gorgeous by itself. The packaging is adorable. It looks kind of 80s to me, which I just absolutely love. Like, I don't know, it reminds me of like, caboodles or something <laughs> like the coloring of caboodles I'm trying to remember I think I had like a turquoise and um, it's probably still somewhere 
turquoise and pink caboodle. And then I think we had a peachy toned one that was almost kind of like this color. So oh, I just, I love an 80s color combo. I just think it's happy. So yeah, love that. And then also the Physician's Formula Strawberry Jam. This is one of my favorite blushes in general. I just think this is adorable. It smells like, I guess it's strawberries. I guess that's, yeah, kind of like strawberry shortcake. Yeah, like the strawberry shortcake dolls. All the 80s references right now. Um, but yeah, it smells good and it's just a beautiful, bright, happy pink. And it mixes really well with this one and just makes a bright, beautiful, pinky combo. I love it. Um, it does come with like a strawberry sort of a design on it, but first time you use it, that goes away. But it's still just a great blush. I mean, it's a great formula. It smells good. It's just happy and good. And then last up for lips, I'm still loving these Too Faced um, Lady Bold and Power Cream lipsticks that they sent me. I just keep reaching for them. The combo of these two together, which is Committed and Power Move. So I will take Committed and just kind of very lightly let me see if I can do a swatch kind of lightly how I do it. So just apply this around the outsides of my lips and kind of dab a little bit and then I kind of diffuse it. So on my lips, you'll be able to see that's what they look like together. Love them together. And then I'll take just a little bit of power move and kind of dab it just a little bit on my lips. Rub my lips together and then blot my lips. So let me show you like this right here so pretty. So that's how I like it kind of or how I've been liking it. I like them full on too, but more diffused and just kind of like blend it out a little bit. And then they wear so well, so low maintenance, just a beautiful, nice satin matte lipstick that's low maintenance. And I love these colors, but together they're just such a beautiful, like, I don't know mauve pink sort of color. Just beautiful. I love them. I'm still loving them. That's what I've been grabbing for. Okay, so those are all my favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you have been loving or maybe not so much loving. Let me know what you've been up to recently. I would love to hear that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video.